Your top story tonight, new gun laws beginning in 2019, including raising the age to limit purchase uh, of long guns from 18 to 21. They also require background checks for ammunition sales. 23 ABC's Josh Sanders spoke with one local gun shop owner on how these new laws could impact business. New gun laws taking effect in 2019, two of those laws impacting gun shop owners. I spoke with one local owner who says even though these new laws further restrict the purchase of certain firearms and ammo, she says we have to deal with them for what they are. New year, new laws. In September, Governor Jerry Brown signed a series of new gun control bills into law. One of those laws raising the age limit to purchase a rifle or shotgun from 18 to 21. In California, already illegal for people under the age of 21 to buy handguns. Cindy Thomay, owner of Bear Mountain Sports in Southeast Bakersfield, isn't thrilled about the new law, saying her customers shouldn't be punished for their age. We have a lot of great, responsible young people that are being punished for the actions of a few bad people, which probably it wouldn't matter if they were 21 or 25 or 35 or 55. Though May sees the age increase also impacting her business. Now her younger customers, specifically those wanting to hunt, may have to wait another three years before getting into the sport. It's definitely going to impact that new young shooter that's been waiting to turn 18 so that they can get their own shotgun or their own 22 rifle and and start hunting. According to the bill, there are some exemptions from the new law, including those 18 years and older with an active unexpired hunting license issued by the Department of Fish and Wildlife, as well as active law enforcement and members of the military. Beginning in July, a second law will require background checks for the sale of ammunition, requiring vendors and businesses like Thomae's to electronically track the sale of ammunition. A law, Thomae says, further restricts the sale of ammunition. She says these types of restrictions are already impacting her business. This year, she's had to obtain another ammunition vendor license, along with her employees needing a separate license to sell ammunition. So we're telling our customers now to come out and buy ammo now while you can, as much as you can, because it, it's going to get more expensive and be more restrictive. Though May says as of now, the Department of Justice hasn't put in place a system for tracking the sale of ammunition, but she expects that system to be implemented July 1st. Reporting in Southeast Bakersfield, Josh Sanders, 23 ABC. Now to the